Hey everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. For this episode we're going to be going towards uh, pretty much one of the best strength weapons in the game. It's got this cool little gimmick towards it uh, where you can just bowl people over. Oh, come on dude. Right, Ash of War Barrage. So these things will do, a, a, I'm not sure if a lot of damage, but they hurt. So just be careful. Come over here, grab a golden seed. And if you see a fog gate over here, that means that we can now unlock. Well, it doesn't mean that, it's just there all the time. Sorry, let me start that again. Over here is a fog gate. We can unlock the mushroom set, which gives us awesome immunities in the... Um, Lake of Rot, so we'll be doing that at some point. Grab the nascent butterfly. They're all coming after me. And there should be a grace to our left. There we go. See the water cave. This can be a kind of screwy cave, but um, yeah, if you stay on it, it's all right. So let's go down. All right. around with the path. Oh, and I may have killed myself. Nope, did not, just hurt. That's fine, so it's a poison area. So we're just gonna hug the right hand wall. Grab the poison grease. Uh, so I believe that was So this way is progression, the cave to the left of that, I'm pretty sure is where we came in from, I guess not. Stupid poison thing, these things are irritating. Every Dark Souls game. Alright, we have rats. Lump of flesh. Such a great prize. You know what? I'm going to drink that potion. Alright, and carrying on with progression. So you'll see a whole bunch of items up there. We're going to get those regardless, so I wouldn't worry too much. Check around the crevices. Yeah, persevering boluses. Pretty sure that's for rot. No hidden path. Okay. Jumping on down. So this is progression. We're not going to go that way. No illusion wall. I don't actually think there's anything in here but flowers. Yeah, no, there's not. Okay. Never tested that, so I wasn't quite sure. Um, okay, this way. So this should bring us up to the mushroom armor as well as those items that were atop that cliff.
Um, okay, we must have picked up that item. Sweet. So, this should be the mushroom armor in here. You can't poison me, I'm already poisoned. Oh, now you can poison me. Fine. Alright, so we got the mushroom head, body, arms, and legs. Now it's not gonna stop you from getting rotted in the in the lake of rot swamp, but it will help. All right, and going on down here. We have the rats. Poison bone dart. We have golden rune six. And then for the boss, we have two of these guys. Now these are a pain in the booty, these enemies. Oh, and I drunk the wrong flask, that's why. Damn it. Yeah, downside to using a Mimic. That's fine. Steak America, why not? Let's try that again. Oh, it's dark. All right. You are in for a hiding. I hate those damn things. All right, and you've got Kindred of Rot's Exultion. Not 100% sure what that does. Don't think it's that great. Poisoning or Rot in vicinity increases attack power. So pretty much, yeah, it just increases the damage your Poison or Rot does, I guess. I would assume I've never really been big on using Poison or Rot in this game. Like, not even a little bit. Alright, that's fine. So we're just going to carry on the area now. Volcanic stones. We've got raining these dudes. What is that? Let me pick it up. Herba. Dumb. Looks like a mushroom. Fireproof dried liver. Golden rune six, and then we hit the grace. Yeah, probably better I rest, I think. Maybe I can get a couple of levels too. I can get one level. Actually, you know what? Let's pop a rune. Okay, I think we're going to need a bit more than that. What else have we got? All right. 
right, 30 of each. Cool. Okay, so from here, you just want to run along. And you can kill these dudes if you want, but really there's not much point, except for maybe a few runes you'll get. Um, this guy in here, though, pretty tough. I do want to kill this guy just so he stays out of my way. Stop that. Fort Laird. Alright, so for beating this guy you get his hammer. Oh. And yeah, it, it, it has a pretty cool Ash of War on it. Surprisingly easier than I thought. Um, so you get Prelates, Inferno Crozier, as well as, oh, the Fire Prelate Gauntlet's nice. I don't think I've ever had the Gauntlet's drop before, but that's kind of cool. Grab the Armour's Cookbook. So you can hear a ghost talking right now. Um, there's not actually a hell of a lot of point to this guy. There's an empty treasure chest up there, and for some reason, this ghost that is talking is this one here. You can grab the fire scorpion charm. It's talking about the volcano manda, but meh. How do we get back over? Oh, just here. Grab the golden rune eight. And I think that's about it. So yeah, short little castle, but um, pretty cool. Alright, now we're going to go fight a magma worm. So if you want to rest, be my guest. not that far from the grace to the worm okay mimic time now this guy can be a bit meaty more so than the last ones in fact, what I might do is use a dried fireproof liver. Give me some fire resistance, not physical though, obviously. It's the first time I've ever seen him come out of the lava and fight on land. Not gonna lie, I don't hate it. Gotta love Nebula. Oh. Don't you kill me. Oh my god, am I dead? Yes. Wow. Asshole. I'm dying a lot these last few episodes. Not really into that. Okay, let's try that one more time. I mean, I never really use these items anyway, so may as well.
Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Three hits. Man, this thing just pops him. There we go. And that's how easy it should have been. Oh, runes. Forgot about those. Alright, so from here, you can grab your horse. Can the horse do lava? The horse can do lava. Sweet. Grab the golden rune. You can hear Alexander. You can just stand on this rock and talk to him. He gives you a jar helmet. Alright, so he will move on to his next destination. Ah, uh, where are we at? We need to carry on this way. Cemetery. Okay, now this thing will break from, not these guys, uh, I think it's a rune bear actually. So this rune bear is way up here. Uh, I'm definitely using the Bloodhound's Fang as a shield for this. Because this guy just wrecks, man. I, rune bears are not fun. Come on, Berry Berry. A wound bear. Oh, you asshole. Can you stop chasing your tail and come with me? Oh, not that fast. Not that fast. Oh god, he's gonna kill me. Oh my lord, he's gonna push me off the cliff. <laughs> that was so close. That was rude. Anyways, uh, pick up the smithing six. Go away, rune bear. Like I said, these things are relentless, man. I can't stand these bears. So, for all that trouble of getting him to break it, you pick up a smithing six. Is it worth it? I don't know. Anyways, pick up rolling magma. And we have this shack, which I don't think has anything. No, Trina's Lily, if you want it. Hi, I'm coming on up here. We should have a Grace coming up, actually. What does this shack have? Gravel stone. Yay. Um, so, following this, I'm, I believe there's an item uh, over here. The pulley crossbow. I love this crossbow. So much that I am actually going to upgrade it and use it at some point. Because um, it just fires off multiple shots. Just da -da 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 -da. Uh, Brilliant. Brilliant crossbow. Um, oh, sh oh, I thought there was a sheep making that noise.
Come on, this way we have a... One of these things, which I don't know what the hell it's doing here. Pulling out the Superman. Just very angry. Didn't drop anything? No. Sacramental bud. Alright, coming on through here we have the Hermit Village. Now over here there is the Prattling Pate, you're beautiful. Now you need that to, uh, you don't need it to progress box quest line, but you do need it if you want to progress it that way. It, it becomes an option. Stop that. Annoying things. What was that? Oh, you're going to get it, buddy. Nope. I actually think there's a mask around here too, yeah. Uh, the glintstone crown. Alright, and from here we have a boss. So with this boss you want to take out these mages as quick as possible because you don't want to be fighting three of these guys with a demi-human queen. Now this thing can be quite strong as far as demi-human queens go. Oops. Ah, that's why I wasn't attacking, is because I didn't have out my other blade. Oop. Yeah, down you go. Alright, so we've got a memory stone for killing that thing now. Over here we have a grace, and by this grace is a... Uh, Azur, I think his name is. I don't know, he's a shiny dude. You talk to him and you slowly see his hand just come out and... Boom. We get Comet Azor, which is actually a really cool spell to use, especially if you're trying to, like, cheese stuff um, at a high level for mages. Um, I just want to see what's along here, but I'm pretty sure we'll be coming to this area when we go the Volcano Manor path. Yes, we will. However, there is this item, the Golden Rune 6. This is one of those uh, temples with the chariots in them. Bloody horrible enemies, I hate them. Um, but that is fine, so yeah, so we'll be coming back there at a later date. For the moment, that's that pathway fulfilled. We need to go back to uh, Selen. Sorceress Selen at the Waypoint Ruins in Limgrave. So for this episode, we'll just wrap up her quest line. And I I think that'll be it for today. Alright. Uh, let us journey together. Okay, so to progress this part, we need to come all the way back to the Church of the Plague. This is actually going to take a bit longer than I thought. That's alright though, we'll finish it this episode. Um, from here, you want to go out the side entrance, go directly north, and you'll see a giant headstone, uh, probably against this hilltop up here. So you want to carry on up this path, sort of end up going northeast, I guess. And behind this headstone up here is actually an illusionary wall. So take out the battle mage. Dude!
stop that. Asshole. There we go. So grab the beast blood. Did you drop anything? Nope. Okay, so directly behind the giant headstone, hit the fat rock. Now, this is Lusat's tomb, uh, Celia Hideaway, I guess. I was just trying to make up a name for it, that's fine. Was that the, that is the grace. Um, okay, and this one can be kind of a confusing one, so... We need to come all the way into here. Nope, oh, wrong button. And at the end of this little tunnel, grab the golden ring three and then whack the wall. Another wall. Okay, and from here, what we're going to do is just go to our left, drop down, then drop down again. We have a revenant, remnant, whatever they are. Stimulating boluses. Grab the lost ashes. And then come on up and jump up the stairs. Grab the song of four. Kill the snail. Snails are. Alright, so from here, if we jump across this here and go out, this is where we dropped down originally, so we've just sort of linked the path up. Uh, coming over here, we want to drop right down and then down again, and then you'll see a giant crystal just drop down onto that. And you want to follow towards that blue shiny thing. We have a mage to take care of. And this is Lusat, I think his name is. You can actually come back here and get both of their armor, it's quite cool. Or come back to this guy and then go back to Azur. So you got Stars of Ruin from him. And we just want to make our way back. I'm pretty sure uh, this particular area has a triple crystalline fight. Jump over that. And we're in the area where we fought the Revenant. We just want to jump on up these stairs. And we pop out where we were. Uh, snails below us if you didn't kill us. Kill them already. Uh, anyways, follow the left hand side this time. Brutal dude. Grab the glowstone. Okay, and just keep following the path around. Maybe jump over it here. That'll take us back. Kill the snail. Where is this going? Oh, okay, so this just goes to where we were. Uh, this is where we dropped down to get Lucette. So that's fine. Uh, probably a more direct way of going there. Follow the path. And yet another crystal room. So we're going to first off jump up these rocks. Then we are going to follow this lighter pink one. Drop onto that one, drop onto this one down here. Carry on through here and this will take you into sort of like a sub cave. Yeah. 
few enemies. We have a chest with the crystallian ashes. And I think that might be about it. Oh, got one of you. Okay, and this brings us out to the the boss. Now there's a couple of snails in here. I'm just gonna ignore them all. And yep, triple crystallian. Now you really want to go for the uh, the staff one first because he inflicts rot. Nah, wrong one. That one. Oh, yep, so that's his rot stuff. Oh, we got rushed anyways. You know what, I feel like the Bloodhound's Fang would be a lot better for these guys. There we go. Oh my lord. I can't believe that happened. I was so close. I didn't even I wasn't even keeping an eye on my health, but of course I was rotted. How silly of me. Alright, I swear to god, this will be the last episode that I die in for a while. I will do better. Why did the stake, did I not click the stake? Maybe the stake is just all the way back here. Um, that's fine, I do think I missed a couple of items anyways. So that takes us up there. Oh, I did. Persevering boluses, okay. Crystal darts. Well, in fairness, I didn't miss that much. Still got a lot of this quest line to do, and this is already way over time. That is fine. We will get there. No, this is not how we treat each other. Yeah, got your threshold, nice. Come on, dude, you need to die. Oh, 
Oh, your threshold's me broken too. Nice. Right, now you messed me up last time, little dude. Oh, that was lucky I wasn't paying attention that time. I thought there was a spider on my foot. Um, anyways, Crystal Torrent I said that weird and I don't know why. Um, but that is fine, so make our way out. So from here, you want to go uh, all the way back to Salon. She will uh, give you access to her prime organ stone. Okay, so from here we want to go all the way to the Weeping Peninsula, go to the Isolated Merchants Check. Now this guy, the guy that was in the loading screen, he becomes <clears throat> a part of this quest too, so we need to go talk to him after we have done this part. So you want to go basically north. Grab her glintstone out. This tree, what do you have? Tree, what do you have? Okay, so she's done that all the way. Back to Caleb, we want to go to Red Main Castle Plaza. And we want to go talk to, is it Jared? I feel like his name's Jared. I get that wrong every time. Uh, he is in the castle. Okay, then from him, go back all the way back to the Isolated Merchant and Weeping Peninsula. We're going to go back to Selen's uh, real body, and he should be standing next to it. I'd say this will probably end up being the longest episode in the in the series. I hardly did well just put it. He was known and obsessed of those dang if a woman, I suspect I'm sure she was sickening. I suspect I'm sure she was sick. Okay, and from him we want to go all the way back to the academy. Uh, no we don't, we want to go to Rani's Rise. So, Salivus had a puppet made of this chick, and she, um, we put the primal glintstone into that, which becomes her new body. So you want to come all the way over to these ruins. And around here somewhere, I feel like it's right here. Yep, there's a secret, uh, what do you call it, secret floor, I guess. So you come on through here. Whack the end, and here's Salon. My apprentice, thank you. It's better still, finally, to expand, dear. 
All right, now with that done, you want to come all the way back to the academy, uh, go Rea Lucaria Grand Library. This is where you end up respecking if you want to. All right, and from here, just go to the front door. Now, this is where you can make a decision. You can either decide to side with Jar Jaren, Jared, whatever his name is, the witch hunter dude, or you can side with Selen. So Selen is the yellow one. Jaren, yeah, is the red one. Uh, overall, so siding with Jaren just gives you Selen's headpiece pretty much, whereas siding with Selen gives you a whole bunch more. I would recommend going this way. Can you please die? I need to do this quickly. Thank you. Alright, so Salen's all happy now that you defended her honor. However, this is Elden Ring. No one has a happy ending. So, we get his hood and armor. Okay, so you grab the glintstone Chris. So you can rest at the grace and Renala will be back. And you're like, well, where is she? She is over here. And you actually get her crown anyways, so there we go. And this is Selen. Yeah, so she's not really a happy person anymore. But um, there you go. Now this chest here, we do actually have the key for it. If you want to grab its contents, be my guest. I'm going to save that for a later episode. Other than that, that is probably the longest episode I've done so far. Uh, next episode, we are going to be taking on the... Uh, where is it? Uh, we'll probably be getting the Prime Evil Sorcerer armor and stuff like that. Uh, but we will be going to the Bridge of Inequity. Iniquity? Iniquity? I can't even say that word. That's where we'll be starting. Um, so yeah, pretty decent amount of content knocked out this morning. It's been a long morning. Anyways, this will be Mount Galmere. Thank you all for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the page. I will see you here next time.